This is Doug Caldwell with the University of Florida, Collier County Extension, and we're looking at a beautiful snow bush hedge. It's got variegated foliage, green, pink, crimson, and it sends up suckers and fills in very nicely. It's a, an attractive ornamental. The snow bush is a wonderful addition to the landscape because it has year round interest in that the foliage has a nice little rosy blush to it and it's continually sending up new growth. So it has uh, an A plus in year round seasonal interest. However, the snow bush is under siege by a caterpillar that showed up about five years ago. And we're going to show you some. We're looking at what was a perfectly lovely snow bush hedge that's been denuded by the span worm that attacks the snow bush. Span worm's another name for an inch worm. And as we look in here closely, we can see the little black and yellow caterpillars munching away. There's still a few here. If there's no leaves left, they'll start chewing on the bark. And that could eventually kill these shrubs. So why is this caterpillar in the inchworm group? Well, if you look at its leg arrangement, there's a gap between the legs on the thorax and the legs on the abdomen. It only has abdominal legs on the last segments. Therefore, it has to move its whole body in a peculiar motion, much like a slinky going down steps. Let's look at the life cycle of the snowbush caterpillar. And it starts out as a tiny egg seven-tenths of a millimeter long. It's a pinkish salmon colored, and you'll never see it. It's hidden near the petiole base of the twigs or leaves. The larva hatches from the egg, and it's about two millimeters long. It goes through about six molts, getting larger each time, and the final size being about an inch long, which is pretty small for a caterpillar. So once the caterpillar is done feeding, it'll change into a pupal stage. And sometimes you'll find these wrapped in uh, silken threads between leaves and sometimes at the base of the plant in a loosely spun silken cocoon. A moth emerges from the pupa, and one of the common names is the white-tipped black moth. Actually, the color of the, the wings is more of a navy blue, beautiful navy blue with a bright orange thorax, and being a daytime moth, there's nothing else that looks similar to it. So what do the moths do? They don't cause damage to the snow bush. Well, they're nectar feeders, as can be seen in this picture here of a large number of them on coral vine. In fact, this is a situation where there are thousands of them on the coral vine. What to do? We have these caterpillars attacking our hedge and it's disappearing day by day. Again, with caterpillars, think of looking at soft control measures such as even pruning the tips off where the small caterpillars are hiding. They don't tend to climb up very readily. Or if you're looking at sprays, pesticidal sprays, start with the soft sprays that contain an active ingredient that's going to only affect the pest, the caterpillars. So we're looking at Bt, which is Bacillus thuringiensis, and Spinosad, or Spinosad, which affects a few other insects, uh, but also mainly targets caterpillars. We have a predator, a paper wasp, that is looking for caterpillars to feed. They'll sting or, or grab the caterpillar and just turn it into a, a ball, a mass, gooey mass. They just chew on it chew its head off and all the guts out and they just wrap it into a little ball. So if you want to have a little bit more residual, move from the soft pesticides to the longer residual broad spectrum pesticides. You're looking at choices such as 7 or Carborel or Bifenthrin. And there's many other synthetic pyrethroids, but remember they're broad spectrum and they'll also take out the beneficial insects as well. But you'll get longer results, which could be important in saving your hedge.